Good morning, good morning. This is Tom in the Philippines. Today I want to talk about something a little different. It really doesn't have to do too much with the Philippines, but it's actually making an income while you're in the Philippines. I want to give you some insight on Amazon and eBay. I have a seller, my wife and I have a seller account on eBay, and I want to give people precautions and sellers beware. I want to tell everybody about uh, if you're selling on eBay, if you're selling on Amazon, please be careful because uh, your account can get banned or suspended very easily on both. And so I want to give you some insights on what to prepare yourself for and how to combat some of the Amazon and eBay uh, conflicts. Uh, Amazon and eBay, Amazon is the, probably the worst as far as you open up a seller account on Amazon to sell on. Now, the reason why, I've had a seller account there for approximately a year and a half. And uh, the seller account itself, once you put the items on, people give feedback. If a person gives a feedback that is like, I did not receive the item, the item did not arrive, or I really don't like this item, they have the scales on how much your feedback is, how many negative comments you have, how many uh, did you your delivery on time or your shipping on time? There's criteria that you have to fulfill when you have a seller account. Not only that, you have to have a valid bank account. You have to have a valid credit card. You can't use the debit card. Some people are using debit cards, and there it's working fine. But sometimes you use the debit card, it will not uh, get your you will not get your money. During the holiday time, they pay every week. After holidays, you get your pay every two weeks. The thing about Amazon is, is you have to have a credit card to make the system work properly because what they do is they activate and pin that card before they send you money to make sure if you have a seller, you have any problems or A to Z claims. And if they're, it, when they ping it, if it pings and it doesn't ping properly, you know I get your money. They hold your money for two more weeks. So you have to make sure that that credit card is a valid card. And it cannot be a prepaid card. It has to be a valid credit card, a USA or a credit card, a credit card from any bank. Another thing you have to be aware of is when you're selling items on eBay or, or even Amazon, Amazon is worse about this. If you're selling items and you sell it, you ship it, they receive it, you have to make sure that your returns are explicit on how to do your returns. Our returns are 30 days after 14 days of receipt. Make sure you use tracking, it's very important, because they will say, oh, I ordered this by mistake, and they want their money back. If they turn two A to Z claims on you, they can suspend your account and close you down. So you have to be very aware of what's going on with that. You have to be, you have to stay on top of it all the time. You cannot relax. If you relax one day or two days, and somebody turns in a complaint, and you don't reply within the 24-hour period, that shows a black mark on your account. You get so many black marks, and any of all the above things can cause your account to be suspended fast. I have a friend that had his account suspended. It's been suspended now over a year and he took him almost seven months to get his money back and it's about four thousand dollars. And he was 98 percent positive, no problems or anything. He had two claims. One for a counterfeit claim and one for copyright infringement. If you have either one of those they will suspend your account fast. And then to get your account back, it's a process. So just be aware about Amazon and their selling. Now, fees at Amazon, they play with the fees. Today the fee can be $1.25 for an item that's $9. Tomorrow it can be $2.25. So please be aware of that. They say they do not change the fees. I've had changes on the fees and I, you have to be aware of any fee changes. So please, please just take note. It is a business and you have to run it like a business. You have to make sure you answer the customers, your customers back in a timely manner. There are people out there on there that's very successful and doing a great job and they've been on there for years and really don't have a lot. But you're finding this year, uh, Amazon is trying to close down a lot of accounts that they are claiming in China. They have rooms, they have chat rooms. Manufacturers will open up accounts They'll have 200 people that open up all these 200 accounts. I don't know how they do it with credit card. But they open up all these accounts 
and they bombard the network. If you're selling items competitors to theirs, they'll turn in a copyright complaint against you. Once that is done, you get two, three, four of those, they start looking at your account, and then boom, you're suspended. So you have to fight that battle. I've had to fight three or four battles of that in the last three months. I've won the battles. Will I win the war? I don't know. But you have to just stay on it all the time. There's Chinese companies open up an account. You have your item for $5, they'll sell it for 50 cents. And the fees are $4 or $2. So I don't know rhyme or reason. I don't know what they're doing. But Amazon's getting flooded by so many companies. There is one company that I'm aware of that they actually have what they call a room of people. And that's what they do. They set and open up accounts. And they sell, sell, sell. Sell their items. They're selling their items. They're the manufacturer items that they just place that they're manufacturing. It's mainly toys, uh, uh, games, some electronics, but it's mainly mainly toys. Lots, lots, lots of toys. So please be aware of that. So also, uh, it's hard to keep your head above water, to keep, keep the suspensions down and keep those down. So if you have a complaint and you want to fight and, and they do suspend you, they will give you time to do that. Usually it's within 30 days. I suggest if you get your account suspended, you do it immediately. Reply to them within 24 hours. And please put it in detail. This is what I did wrong. Whether you did anything wrong or not, you got to admit that you did something wrong and this is what you did to fix it. Whether you uh, put these things in effect, I informed my employees not to do this anymore. I informed my employees that this item will be deleted. We have a uh, sheet that is printed out every morning and we check our sheet continually to make sure these items are not on there. It was downloaded by mistake on a zip file. Whatever it did, you have to explain what happened and what you're going to do to fix it. And not only that, you've got to explain it in detail, not just one little small page. Do many pages if you can. Explain it all out in detail. Because more, the more paperwork they get, the more apt they're just to turn it right back on immediately. If they get a one-page thing, a piece of paper on a reply on suspension, they just look at it and say, oh, okay, this guy's really not interested. But it's, 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 no, like, it's no different than when you go to court in, in America. The more paperwork, the more ammunition that you have. And find out who the company is that turned in the claim. They have to supply you with the name. If they supply you with the name of the company, write them and find out. Do some research on it. It's a legitimate company. I had one turn a claim in on me. Come to find out, it was not legitimate. It was a fake company. Somebody created a web page that that you 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 could not even click on. It. So it was all fake. So what you have to do, you have to prove that. Do, take do uh, snapshots. Take a picture of it. Turn that in. Give them links to it so they can look at it in detail. Now you got to realize a lot of those people at Seller Central on Amazon will are paid nine dollars an hour ten dollars an hour I think uh, Amazon raised the salary to ten dollars an hour so you're talking to someone that's looking at your account going hmm, uh, okay uh, we'll approve it or somebody's had a bad day hmm, you're not approved so you really have to look at it and you have to really fight it and you and once they just send in just send it in and, and please reply as much as many documents as you can so, in closing, I just want to say, uh, eBay is somewhat easier to a certain extent. eBay's had their problems too. I've had their problems on eBay. Uh, as you know, the Chinese are taking over the world on, on products. Basically, most of the products that are made, and that's made in USA, are made in China. And you have to deal with China, whether you deal with AliExpress, Alibaba, uh, whether you deal with the manufacturer directly. You know as well as I do, you just have to make sure you have your P's and Q's in order. Unless you're buying liquidated items that you're storing at your house, or buying products that you store here and you actually know the value of it, doing, because a lot of people drop ship and they actually don't see the item. So just make sure if you're planning to open up a business, you do really a deep thought on Amazon and eBay and how to approach it. And answer all the messages immediately and any complaints against you, fight it tooth and nail. Do not lay down. You lay down on it, you're going to get stung. And sometimes this thing swells, and before you know it, you're off Amazon. And they hold your money 
up to, they can hold it up to six months. They can hold it up longer than that. They say 90 days, but usually it's six months. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe. Any comments are welcome. And I just want to do this video about this. I got to thinking about this last night. And I want to make people beware of doing business with Amazon right now. It's a, it's very, uh, it's going through a lot of transitioning right now. And what they're doing, they're suspending accounts. They're actually going in and just suspending accounts as fast as possible. Thank you so much. And hit like and any comments. Thank you.